Unfortunately, the D isn't silent in discrimination. The Weinstein Company announced that they're withdrawing the series of Django Unchained action figures for sale after outcry from prominent African Americans, many of whom think that the toys trivialize slavery. Weinstein released action figures for Quentin Tarantino's previous film, Inglorious Bastards, but amazingly, toys based on fictional Nazi hunters make people a lot less upset. This news has shot the price of the now withdrawn toys through the roof, and now collectors are struggling with the idea of selling them. Now that these Django action figures have been recalled, they're worth a ton of money. But how do I sell them without looking like a racist? What are you talking about? <laughs> what am I going to do? Put them on eBay? For an online auction? Oh, yeah, I see your point. Well, maybe you could sell them at a yard sale and put them in front of your house. Uh, ugh, no. That's not better. That's no. bad. What if I trade them with other people and then I can get ones that I don't have in my collection? Yeah, saying the word collection made me feel weird. Yeah, uh, maybe you don't have to sell them at all. Maybe you can just hide them in your basement. I heard the words coming out of my mouth and I couldn't stop myself. I'm sorry. I'm starting to think these activists had a point. Yeah, well that's why I like playing with non-offensive action figures, like this starting lineup, Michael Vick. Ah. Ah. Stockpiling your Dr. King Schultz figures, or are you glad to see them Django? Leave a mint condition comment below, take our like and subscribe buttons out of the original packaging, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> According to Verizon, an employee in a major U.S. company was recently discovered to have been outsourcing his job to China. IO9 reports that they obtained script pages for the upcoming TV version of 2009's hit Zombieland. This is